Aries, this is your June forecast 2023. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. So Aries, it looks like there's going to be some negotiations here when it comes to your um, study, your career and your finances. And if there's a contract involved, it looks like there's some confusion. Uh, it looks like there is a delay. It looks like that you need to get more details out. That's where the problem lies. Now, this is to do with the contract. Um, then this is about, you know, going through the process with more than one team. It looks like you'll have to bring in pieces. Um, the back and forth negotiation is going to go for a while, but it looks like in the middle of June um, that things will all be finished and all be done. Now, when it comes to your parents, it could be some negotiation or discussions that involve in-laws or cousins. This this week when it comes to the home and if there has been a rift if there has been a disagreement it looks like people will take what is said and move forward but it's going to be a slow process so it looks like you know people are happy enough with the results but there's still some miffed um, feelings there when it comes to your home residence um, flatmates that kind of thing it looks like we're a bit broke this month um, paying Peter to pay Paul um, we're just being careful with your finances this month at the end of the month your money is going to look a lot better but through the first part of the month it's going to be a bit tight when it comes to your um, health we have the page of cups look you're trying different things trying to feel better maybe you're starting a uh, exercise routine, um, maybe you are you know, getting your hair done or doing something about the way that you look because you haven't been feeling so great. So Aries, this is a time for you to um, get out of the mood that you've been in because your ego is really playing here. It's stopping you from getting where you need to be, getting conversations done. There's a little bit of ego there as well. So when we're looking at our health, what we're doing is we're trying to make some changes here. We're trying to make ourselves feel better. Uh, and there's different options there that that you can choose that you're really going to like and, and be able to continue to go on with. When it comes to your relationship, we do have the world card. Now, for some of you, you're reaching a um, milestone, you're reaching an anniversary where things will progress to the next level for some of you. For others, this is about, look, we've reached as far as we're going to. We've had this discussion for at least a month or so, maybe even two, um, and we've decided that this has come to a natural conclusion, a natural end, and we're and we're going to be able to um, move forward separately when it comes to our relationship. Those of you that are single, meeting someone who is quite grounded, someone who seems to fit you in, in a quite a few ways, your personality, things that you like to do, but this person also keeps you honest. This person's quite the match for you. Now, this would be uh, Taurus, uh, Leo, um, Virgo, and um, Capricorn for that. So your Doring Virtue messages from the Angels Aries is a lot of cards. So your home is protected. So whatever's going on with the home, it's fine. It's just going to take a little bit of going back and forth. It might take like two weeks. Caress is telling us that we're coming to the end of a cycle, which is very much like this one, um, and to have patience because the next cycle is going to be um, coming in very quickly and you'll need to adjust things as fast as you can. Again, we're talking about the family. We're talking about others uh, as a group coming together to be able to get us to where we need to be to get to that dream level. Up again, we've got a patience card telling you to just wait Everything will fall into place. I know we want things to be in a real big hurry, but we just have to wait. Again, facing our fears and going above uh, what we fear the most. Now, if you talk out now, the negotiations, anything you're trying to get will go well. But you've got to speak up for yourself and maybe put your CV out there, put out, um, you know, ring some different people, get online, get some advice from other people. And then we've got Christelle, just reminding you that things will happen in the time that they're meant to happen. You can't force them. You can't make it go any quicker than what it's already doing. So now we're going to go on to Taurus. Taurus, we're looking at your career study and finance, but we're also looking at your insecurities and where your values and your morals are. And it looks like you've been working on something for at least four to four to six weeks, maybe a bit longer. And this month, you're coming to that uh, 
precipice you're coming to that point where things need to be delivered things need to you, this is where you give the speech this is where you stand your mark stand your ground go for the competition go for what it is that you need to go so if this is to do with your salary then it's a time where we are being reviewed we put our name in for a, a different role uh, we're sitting down having conversations with our team and maybe putting your hand up and saying yes um, there's a good duo this month as well so if you're working part-time in a part-time jobs and um, that'll help you bring in the funds but if you're working with another person this month Taurus it's really going to help you finalize what it is that you need to do and that good feedback that you're going to get is going to make you feel better now you might find that you're going overseas uh, something to do with your um, work hobbies things like that or that you're starting if this is a new role or something you put yourself forward there's some learning or some teaching involved there as well now in other parts of your life you might find that the alternative thing might help you more this month than just the generalized heyday and what it is that we normally put in. So something different will actually help you this month. When it comes to your family, we have the Knight of Wands here. Look, our family members, one of them is uh, planning to go away. One of them is planning to move out. We've got someone here who's striking it out independently on their own with something that they're very passionate about. When it comes to your landlord, your flatmates, family, and roots, and heritage, it looks like we've got the respect and we've got the following and we've got the support of the people that are around us. If this is to do with our landlord, they might be saying that there's some changes that are going to be made, whether this be um, tradies, painting, uh, rent going up, getting things fixed. That's what's going to be happening. Knight of Swords in our health position is telling us that we need to slow down a bit we're actually doing way too much we're going too fast there's options of you know accidents falling down um, hurting ourselves that way um, mentally um, having your head all over the place obsessing about some things there again this is going to go back and forth with the insecurity and the moral level that we have once you get over that fear you're all you know, if the fear needs to be changed into a certain direction, which will then overcome it, you'll be able to do it. It's the fright. It's the overthinking. It's the obsessing, especially if there's like a small panic attack before something happens. This is a time when you really need to relax the mind uh, and you'll find you're much better off for it. Now, when we're looking at relationships, we do have the tower card. So I pulled another card to go with that. It looks like someone this month is caught out. Um, someone this month is overspent or overindulged. Um, hasn't been responsible, hasn't been the dutiful partner that they're meant to be. If this is a new relationship, maybe they've just gone cold, um, giving you the cold shoulder, and you're not quite sure where it came from or what happened. It looks like, though, um, that things will be made up, everything will be fine at the end of that. Um, it's almost like this chaos uh, has caused a rift which brought up a conversation that had to be had anyway, but now that conversation's been forced on us, we are able to amicably move forward without any more um, drama. Your adoring virtue, virtue messages from the angels, Tauruses, and also during this month, Taurus, you might find yourself looking at psychological changes that can help you. Uh, again, we're talking about insecurities, morals, and values and stuff that comes from within. So you might find that you're a little bit more religious, that you're looking at horoscopes, astrology, um, tarot readings, looking at things that are different that might help you mentally with this month as well strong powerful person this month so allow yourself to be great don't let yourself be under anybody else's um, shadow under the mushroom none of that stand up for yourself put yourself out there and you will get those dividends that you're looking for leading you towards the answer of your prayers so this is a time for you to be able to take that support feel firm in your decisions and being able to push through any insecurities that it is that you find sometimes it's head over heart our head will think of all the possibilities that can go wrong but our heart says it's okay we know that we're solid then we've got Serafina so there might be someone new coming into the family new coming into the job or you might find that you are pregnant we've got the other pregnant card here as well so with that if there is a pregnancy you do have the support you have the family behind you and this is a new cycle if it's coming to the end then you are going to be giving birth this month um, close to the 20th 21st uh, for some of you 
So now we're going to go on to uh, Gemini. Gemini, this month you're starting something different, whether it be a new cycle to do with your job, whether this be you being single now, um, rather than being in a relationship with an other, or that you're starting out in a new relationship in regards to the other that's in your life. At work, you're going to find that you might be struggling a bit and you might find that if you go and have a word quietly to your boss, your team leader, your other um, people that you work with, and have that word with them and just say, look, there's an awful lot of work um, piling up here. Some people aren't doing their job. I've fallen behind. Whatever it is, maybe you can work from home for a couple of days. But whatever it is, it looks like there's some um, frustration. It looks like someone's um, burnt out um, and really struggling getting what needs to be done done. Um, it's almost like you're holding out for the end of the cycle and then you can have a break before the next one. When it comes to your finances, you might find things are a little bit tight this month until the end of the month going into July. That's when funds are going to look better for you. So don't stress too much this month. It will work itself out by the end of the month. When it comes to your home, study, um, to your home roots, heritage and landlord, in regards to your landlord, it looks like you might have to take it one step further to have some response responsibility um, looked at to have things balanced to put the rights um, the wrongs right that's what needs to happen if it comes to your landlord if it's coming to your home it looks like that there's a judgment here in regards to the family whether that be funds whether it be over children whether it be over who's looking after who there is going to be a judge at mage this month and it's going to be a lot fairer for everybody else when it comes to your children there might be a new uh, agreement made of either financially for the children's welfare or to divvy up the calendar on who gets what then in our um, health we've got the queen of cups now for some of you you might be missing your family whether it's a parent missing their children so in Nest syndrome, uh, if this is about a, um, uh, a health issue, you might find that you're bloated, holding water, fluid on the knee, fluid on the lungs, there's fluid there somewhere, and in other um, senses, this is about the mental health, something this month makes you feel blue, uh, it could carry around like a hangover for quite a few days um, or, or weeks of this month, and it's just feeling low, feeling tired, feeling all the pressure, and not surprising when you're looking at your job and there's some stress there, when we're looking at our home, there's some decisions there that need to be made, it's an emotional time for you this month, so get out to the sea. Um, buy a lake, um, have a, um, a bath and Epsom salts, just get out into nature and see if that can physically fill you up with some of the uh, ions and the um, electric magno um, uh, uh, pulses that we feel from nature itself. When it comes to our love life, we have the Knight of Wands. Now, if you are single, then you're meeting someone that you're sexually, chemically, absolutely attracted to, and this could be a one-night stand. This could be something that starts as a one-night stand and very quickly becomes a relationship. Now, this is with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This person has a little bit of money as well, so might want to spoil you, and so you feel quite the princess. Now, if this is a long-term relationship, we might be deciding that we're going to, uh, we've worked so hard this year we're going to take some time off and have a holiday or that we've decided that you know we've got to a certain land now we're ready to have children or we're ready to buy or we're ready to move somewhere those of you that have been on an off uh, on an off relationship this month's a green light so let's have a look at our adoring virtue messages from the angels for a small select few of you if you're going to start a business passive income at home you're going to find that this month might start a little bit low but just um, July is the month for you. Right, we've got another powerful card. So stand your ground. You've got the feeling. You know it's going to go well. Follow your instincts. Put yourself out there. Don't listen to naysayers. Then we've got Ariel talking about your psychic self, going with your gut instinct. You might also, when it comes to the other things in your life which are a little bit difficult and chaotic, that your, um, your gut instinct tells you who's telling the truth, who's avoiding responsibility, and really which side you really want to be on if you want to pick sides at all. Your gut instincts will tell you. You'll either know before it even happens or I knew that was going to happen. Um, or that you instinctively through the conversation you you know what what's what and you know where you're going to go with this. Caressa says you're at the time at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you, to guide you to your next step, and happiness awaits you now. So this card's also talking about wrapping things up and moving forward. Again, if this is passive income, you'll find that the first part of the um, 
uh, month of June may be a little bit difficult, but money starts rolling in in July. Maya says we need to look at some uh, information. Now, if this is hereditary, we might find that uh, medically we need to look at family members' uh, records to be able to help diagnose what's wrong. If this is about the home, the paperwork, and how we're going to pay this and pay that, it might be time for you to get an accountant in, or even you know if you're going to re, um, remortgage or um, fix a loan to be able to pay off what needs to be paid now and just pay up you know monthly installments as it goes on for there. Now we're going to go on to cancer. Cancer, for some of you, you're coming to an end of a contract, so you're looking at how you are going to either stay where you are and resign, or whether you're going to um, start fresh. There is an ending here and some unexpected expenses that you weren't expecting. And this might cause a little bit of trouble because if there's anybody else on the other side of this, uh, so if this is a court case or something like that, they might be trying to pull the mickey, might be trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So have a good look at those details. Maybe Make sure that you get somebody you trust to look through it as well because they will see second eyes and see things that you've missed. Now you've got to make sure that the numbers are correct because there could be something missing there. Also, uh, along with the uh, added expenses, you might find that that is with, um, you know, you weren't expecting, so for example, say you've got a website, you weren't expecting the domain payment to come out and the website payment to come out, you'd forgotten, and they both come out at the same time and it's quite expensive. So, you know, something like that. Um, also, when it comes to your, um, your work study and finance, you might find you might have to pull out of something or get an extension because things are a lot slower. You haven't really had the time. There's been uh, other things outside of your control that have come in and um, interfered with what you need to get done. So, you know, you're going to have to do things slowly. You might need to work from home for a couple of days to catch up on what it is. Or if you've had some time off and you've come back or somebody else has had time off and you've come back, there's all this work to catch up on. But you can't burn yourself out. You're going to have to do this slowly. When it comes to your home, you do have the magician card. Look, we're moving into a new place. Um, we're moving out of one, moving into a new. So you could be buying a place. You could be going halves with someone because we're going halves with someone and we're ending a cycle. For others, this is I'm selling my house and I'm moving away, whether I move across the state or country or something. I've sold what I need to do and I'm starting fresh somewhere else. The magician tells you that you have all that you need, the support, the finances, the physicality, the tangible and practical things that you need to be able to start this fresh cycle. It is a major arcana card, so this comes in, it could start to come in chaotically, or maybe it has been chaotic, but now as we're going into June, things start to slot into the right place, which makes it easier for you to be able to get things done. Right next to that, in the house zone, we do have the lover's card. Look, I feel like one thing is agitating another, so if it's a medication, you're going to need to go and sit with your doctor's specialist and have a look through them, or just read the packet slip that comes inside it because you're going to find that one thing is triggering another so we're going to have to adjust the dosages there because uh, it's not working so for example St. John's wort is only a herb but if you add it with say a blood pressure pill or a, a, a epilepsy pill, uh, pill it stops working and doesn't work as well so you're going to have to readjust that so something in that kind of scenario also we might find that this month you or another is dealing with a not quite split personality but they're going far extremes um, on a daily basis. I could lose their temper and then apologize later and be embarrassed about what they've said. Or, you know, there, there's some duality going there where the ego is playing. And it could be that I'm feeling uh, left out, I'm feeling ignored, I'm feeling, um, you know, there's some irresponsibility going on. And so in that, I've got to calm myself down and look after me, but I really want to bite back. This is a major arcana card. Now, for some of you, this is about sexual um, parts of your body that we might find this month has got some difficulties there. In our love, we do have the Four of Cups. Look, we want stability in our love life. It looks like there's been a disagreement. There has been something that's happened or been said, and one person isn't ready for an apology yet. Maybe they're waiting for some demonstrative 
um, show of you know how much I love you. Some people want you to to do something big um, because that makes them feel like they're more loved by you. So it might find this month that that's a person, whether it be you or your partner. For others, this is about feeling insecure. You're going out on dates. You're going out with someone. Or even if this is someone you've seen for a little while, for whatever reason you're feeling insecure this month, maybe they said something, they weren't aware of it, and it really hurt your feelings. But this month, you're going to have to let bygones be bygones. You don't want this to happen all month just because your feelings have been hurt or you've hurt somebody else's feelings. It's really simple to say, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Small amount of words, people have a real difficulty doing that. Also, it's also about commitment. You might find that things were great and when we have this conversation or if we have a deeper conversation about something else, we find actually we're not on the same page. With our Doreen Virtue messages from the angels, we have... Someone might find that there is some sort of legality or... Um, permit or fine or something that comes up this month that you weren't expecting and it's a little bit more expensive and it's like oh why did I do that Serafina so we do have the Serafina card and like I said with the lovers card we can also see that as a sexual thing going on uh, Adriana's leading you to the uh, answer of your prayers and family and that are involved as well so we could put that with the magician card um, about um, you know, this new cycle that we're starting where we have everything that we need, including support. But we could also put that with the um, health card, which is, you know, if we're talking about children or it's in a sexual way, we are leading our way to being able to have that. It might just be a process. And lastly, we do have Francesca. Francesca, I'm going to put that with the finances. Look, it's going to be a little bit difficult this month for you at work, uh, Cancer, because you might find that just everything's lumped on your desk. Or if you've only had a couple of days off the whole wide world just stops it's like no one can do anything without you or you was expecting somebody else to step in because you're sick you're not there um but it hasn't happened that way so it's a bit of a struggle this month go out and ask for help there's someone there i feel like it's a female uh she's got a fire sign but she's also got virgo in her because she's going to help you list get the schedule right be someone to talk to Put her hand up and do some delegating and you're going to feel a lot better about that at, that, um, at the close of this month. Now we are going to go on to Leo. Leo, this is a good month for you to get on social media, for you to have some conferences, for you to put out um, uh, contracts to generate extra uh, clients or customers. This is a good time for you to promote yourself if you have your own business. Maybe there's a conference involved um, that you can go to. Um, and this is going to help you this month because it's a really, really social time. So what you do this month isn't just going to help you for this month. It's going to lead on to more money, more contacts, more clients further on through the year. This month is about scheduling. It's about tools, um, getting everything in the right place at the right time, and then just promoting yourself out there. Now, also, while we're doing this, can we make sure for some of you that you don't have a drunken night out or something like that and upload something on social media? because you will get told told off at work it could affect your job and lastly you might find that you're working for a boss who is an alcoholic or work with someone who's an alcoholic or even you if you've fallen off you've come into work drunk a couple of times and you're in trouble you someone you work with or your boss you might also find that you're um dealing with someone at work who's just so toxic and this is what's creating that difficulty in your mind when you come back to work. When we look at our home, our landlord, our roots and um, heritage, we've got something to celebrate this month. It looks like we're coming together, we're celebrating after a small select few of you, this you and your neighbours coming together for a common cause that we feel is really, really great, um, where maybe we're crowd, uh, crowdfunding for someone that needs the money or maybe you know, cook out and, and for the whole street, but there's something to celebrate this month. If it's coming to your family, it's something that's been well earned, and so we're going to have the celebration. Finally, it's done. Let's all celebrate together. When it comes to your health, we have the High Priestess, and this is a two card. It's also got fertility all over it. This um, health card is saying to you, 
I need to make a decision this month that is going to progress my health, but also it needs to feed me energy and make me feel better about myself at the same time. So maybe I don't like exercise so this month. I'm putting in maybe some Pilates or some swimming. Maybe I've joined a netball or a touch team. Maybe I've joined a bowls team, but I've done something this month that's different. And uh, I have to make this decision because my health is actually suffering here. So I might be having some spiraling thoughts, some depression, confusion too much obsessing so I need to burn that off when it comes to energy the other thing around this is having news soon uh, shortly about um, fertility or any kind of uh, growth that's in the body when it comes to your love uh, we do have the Queen of Pentacles so in love this month you should be feeling um, uh, Leo that you have someone to take care of you when you need someone to take care of you uh, mentally and physically you feel um, like you've been put on a a pedestal or being spoiled this month. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, in long term um, relationships, this is about feeling loved, having that anniversary, getting to a milestone, and really feeling that support that you have. Now, if you're single, this is meeting someone, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo this month, who's going to make you feel really special, going to make you feel giddy and um, feel a lot younger. Uh, this is going to be a good time for you when it comes to relationships. Be careful with money this month. Don't lend money to friends or uh, family. This is not the time for you. And also, if you have got some illnesses, something that's long, uh, long COVID, migraines, um, you know, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, if you get online this month, you might find that there are some things that you haven't thought of, which is why it's great to have social media, that you can get on there and get some tips and advice. But also, this is a group that when you're not feeling good you can ring these people and you can have a conversation with them and they're like-minded figures they understand because they're going through it as well during virtue messages from the angels don't let any um, naysayers gossipers anyone like that come up and ruin your parade you've got to rise above it because you can back it up Serafina we keep getting this card this card's come out quite a bit uh, and it's also come out with this card as well quite a bit so if we're looking at pregnancy if we're looking to add also a slight nod there to adoption if we're looking to add to our family that is going to happen start the process now um and it's leading you towards the answer to your prayers which is having the family that it is that you want we've got some time spent being empathetic for you or the people around you especially if you're you know crowdfunding or doing something with other people it's going to make you feel really good about yourself bringing everybody together for a small select few of you this is about spending money on pets um you know whether that be grooming a trainer something's gone wrong and lastly Shanti now this is about peace going ahead when it comes to the family there may have been some ups there might have been some downs but this month things are going to definitely look a lot more rosy now we're going to go to Virgo Virgo we might have to ask for a loan from our sibling um, uh, or an organization that can help you with your finances this month that looks like there has been some difficulty if you have a ha um, hobby of some sort that brings in money you might find it's been a slow month all of May but when it comes through to June I'm sorry it's not going to be until the last week that's when the money's going to start to flow but that's what you need um, but it is coming at the end of the month um, in the meantime you might find that there is an offer of extra work or an offer of funds that comes from an unlikely um, source. So we've got the page of pentacles here. So a new study, career and finance. Someone's offering you um, practical, tangible help. So if it's studying, someone might offer you a tutor or to study, share with them or working as a group to be able to get this done. When it comes to your work, you might find you get extra hours or someone's like, yeah, you know what? I really don't want to do it this month. How about you do it? You keep the money. It's all great so somehow there's going to be some money there you weren't expecting it's coming in for some of you if you get a new job you might find that there's a lot of perks that come with that job so that's excellent for you when it comes to the family we've got three um uh, major arcana cards for the rest of your reading so in home we've got the death card in our health we've got the emperor card and in our love we've got the uh, high priestess so on a whole when it comes to our family um, if someone has passed there's going to be a disagreement about the will might even actually have an all-out brawl because someone is expecting something when they really don't deserve it they haven't been around they haven't been the person that's been going in and out and doing any of the daily stuff that needs to be done um, so this could 
quite be uh, a lot of strife that's going on. And if it's in that case, it won't be over until August. If this is about starting fresh, so I've moved from my partner or there's been a separation here and it's in regards to children, you're going to find that you're going to be able to get an amicable split, whether it be custody or whether it be financial, you'll be able to get that done. Again, that won't be until the end of July going into August. Um, also, you might find for a small select few of you that you might need some money and one of your parents says, look, here's your inheritance early or here's some of your inheritance early or sign the house over to you because you need the money and they're all going to give it to you anyway. Uh, lastly, you might find that someone's moving out this month so you have to quickly run around and get yourself a new landlord. When it comes to your house, we've got the Emperor card. Now, you know there's something wrong. You're ignoring it. You're not following the rules, the routine, taking your medication. You've just been up and over, uh, all over the place. Now, this could be your ego. You don't want to believe what's wrong with you. You don't have time for it. Um, you know, and that's a great excuse, you know, because sometimes uh, what it is is that we know we have to take care of our health, but there's so much going on. I'm going to do that after work today and you come home, you're exhausted so you haven't done it. But the specialist is really going to lay down the law for you this month, especially if you're looking to have children or there's anything hereditary going on uh, in your health from your family. Uh, you're going to find this month that you can't ignore it. You're going to have to do what you're told. Uh, lastly, you're going to find that there's three um, specialist appointments um, uh, Virgo when it comes to this. Lastly, in our love, we've got the high priestess. If you you haven't heard from someone for, for a while, you will hear from them this month. For others, this is going into a orthodox or unorthodox relationship, and this is only based on how you feel with your partners, nobody else's business but that. If you're in a long-term relationship and married, this month we're discussing about our future. It could be that there's a conversation that's come up about, you know, are our children going to be raised in a certain religion or not, or are we ready for children, or are we ready to buy a house? Something there is fundamental that's going to cause a uh, conversation which really should have been had but there was no reason to have it before but we're having it now we'll put a little bit of ice or um <clears throat> A little bit of a shadow over the relationship. If this is brand new love, you might find that this person's here, there, almost split personality. One moment they're fine, next moment they're not. So it's whether or not you can be bothered with that, um, with that bullshit. Because I certainly don't have the patience to do that. Uh, Virgo, if it comes to anything to do with sports, coaching, um, any kind of hobbies that you have, you might find you're leading the show this month um, because. Um, it's coming to an end, all the work that you've been putting up, um, and you've certainly learnt um, the skills that you need to be able to do this, but you might have a shining a shining example or a shining thank you or, or something given to you this month because of all the work that you've done or, or what you've accumulated. Rosetta is talking about children. So again, if we're talking about splitting children, just remember the children. They might need an extra bit of love this month, um, remembering that they're not involved. It's between the parents. Um, also, you might have one that uh, is struggling a bit at school or something to do with bullying uh, this month. And for lastly, you might find that you have to buy braces for your children or, you know, a really expensive sports uniform um, <clears throat> this month for your child too. <clears throat> There's some tiredness here, exhaustion. I'm at the end of my rope here. Not surprising when you've got three uh, major arcana cards. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I could just do with a break. Um, it seems everybody wants a piece of me, and I'm really, really so tired this month, and I feel very alone. And last one, we've got Archangel Gabriel. You just need to talk it out with someone. Um, even if it's someone that you don't normally talk to, you'll find that a conversation that you have will really settle you down. You just need to blit it all out, and then you're going to feel better after that. Now we're going to go on to Libra. Libra, you might find that you're moving, you're on the road, you're going on holiday um, this month, and it might have to do with going home uh, or going away with family, catching up with family. So if there's a reunion, um, someone's wedding, something or other, that's what we're doing. For others, this is about the route that you have will be closer to home or the job that I have, we've reworked it so I can work from home. And lastly, this is about learning and teaching. You might find that you're doing some of that at home, 
especially if you've got a passive income. This is about trying different things to reach different um, uh, large audiences and doing a better study there that you can accumulate with the skills that you've already got to be able to put forward. So if you've been working on a um, passive income and you've been going over it, going over it, going over it, this is the month for you to put it out. You cannot keep second um, guessing yourself. You've got to put the work forward now. It's great. Get a friend to look at it if you don't trust yourself, but this is a good time to be able to put it forward. Last one, you might have a bit of a crisis of faith this month when it comes to your family. Maybe they're not there for you. Maybe you're feeling very low this month. Maybe you've been mean to your family. Maybe you've got some uh, frustration and anger um, and you're taking that um, against the people that love you the most. So now we're going to go on to uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, we're looking at the other in our family and we are coming to um, a conclusion and negotiation when it comes to that. We will be in touch with in-laws and cousins this month as well. Um, don't let your ego get in the way, even if you don't like someone. Don't throw everything away because someone's pissed you off or gotten onto your nerves, um, Scorpio. You'll also find with your boss that you might be given extra hours or a promotion of some sort or put in a role where you were dealing with the public more or that you have to, you know... Be the messenger when it comes to everybody else that's at work. Oh, can you pass that along? In our study career and finance, we do have a yes card. So if you ask your employer for anything this month, it's going to be a yes. If it's about borrowing money, again, if this is about passive income or to buy a house or anything to do with that, you do have a yes card with that. Financially, you're going to be able to balance the books. You might start off the month thinking, oh my God, I've got no money. And then through whatever circumstances, you're going to find that you will have enough to cover. When it Great card. So when we come to the family, we've got the victory card as well. So if we're buying a house, we're having a housewarming, we're, di we're putting it on social media, we're having uh, people over to have a look, especially if this has got anything to do with, you know, being newly engaged. Again, like I said, if there's um, all the family, in-laws and cousins involved, that will be at home, but it's it's public, so we're, we're all talking about it. Um, in our house, we have the devil card, so we're overindulging. This is... Um, about uh, alcohol, drugs, um, not looking after yourself, not eating enough, eating at the wrong times, not getting enough sleep, all of those things um, are, are contributing to poor health this month. You really do need to get on top of it because if you continue doing this for, say, another two months, you might find that you end up in hospital or that this is something that's going to take a long time to get over. And lastly, you might find that you for a small select few of you, um, Scorpio, you might find that there's an STD or a pregnancy scare around this as well. When it comes to your love, you've got some happy news, something to celebrate, whether we're pregnant, whether we're making it official, whether we're going engaged or whether we're getting married, there's something uh, official here that we're sharing with family and friends and we're really, really happy about that. Um, if this is someone new, then it feels like you're meeting someone who actually is very promising for you in your future. This is for, for newish people. Uh, and this person can actually be, um, they feel like home to you. They might be people that you grew up with and you've just gotten in contact with. You might meet them at a gathering of some sort, but this is a, a, a nice um, romantic time for you this month, uh, Scorpio. With your drawing virtue messages from the angels... And any investments that we have this month, especially when it comes to electronic, a um, good time to jump into that quickly because I feel like you might miss out in the next three months. Rochelle says, honor the guidance of your heart, your head. Follow your instincts because that's the way to go. That's the way you're going to make take the best advantage of the situation. Fiona says, now that you've asked for help, help will be there. We've got another child card here. So if this is um, we're discussing and going over a divorce, a separation, whatever, um, or even if we're you know in passive income with someone else and, and we have to negotiate that, it is going to go well. It is going to be okay. Um, it's just going to take a bit of back and forth. And remember, um, not to let anyone poke the bear. So don't let your ego um, let you lose your temper and then ruin everything. Also, lastly, spending money on your children this month. Layla says, what do you want? We've got to think about you this month. You might be feeling a little bit melancholy. You might be feeling a little bit left 
behind, you might be feeling a little bit um, secluded and on your own. And this may be a couple of days, it may be a week, you're just not feeling it. Um, this is time for you to think about what it is that you really want and start putting those into action. And Akasha says, you've got a psychic time, whether it be through a dream, whether it be thinking of someone and then they're calling, or even getting a psychic reading. That this is going to help you have that faith that things are going to get better in the future because at the moment everything looks a little bit dicey and you're a little bit worried that things aren't going to work, go well. So it's almost like you need that um, validation so that you're able to keep the faith. All right, now we're going on to Sagittarius. You're signing an agreement this month to go duo with somebody else. Now, this might be, um, you know, a 24-hour basis where we both do 12 hours. This might be I've signed up for a second job. This might be that I've signed up to go halvesies in a, um, you know, business, property, car, whatever, um, first and foremost. When it comes to your... Um, uh, work, study, and finance. But there could be some finger pointing this month. You're okay because it's actually, you know, not right anyway. So you're not to blame. You're not the one that's going to be the central figure, but you will be in the beginning because things need to be looked into. So if the finger is being pointed, um, just remember it's going to work itself out. Now, you also might find that your boss <clears throat> or your bank is asking you, if it's your boss, then they might be asking you to take over a new position, add to your position, help somebody else out. When it comes to your bo um, to your bank, you might be getting um, some news uh, coming shortly that you need to pay more, there's an extra fee that needs to come in, and or that if you look at government subsidies or any kind of not-for-profit, you might find that there's a small rebate that you can have towards uh, your living expenses that you weren't aware was there. At home, uh, we have the three of wands. Now, this is about um, people, someone is leaving the home, um, and it's not just for a week, it's for like, you know, six weeks or something like that. And it's a hard goodbye, but it needs to be done. Independence needs to be earned. Independence needs to be had to be able to become this, you know, stronger, um, more independent adult. For others, it's about, okay, well, I want to move now closer to my job, closer to my family, closer to something else. So I'm going out and I'm looking at what is available for me. And lastly, if this is to do with landlords, you might be told that there's only two months to go. Or so, for example, maybe they've put your rent up by $100 and it doesn't kick in for two months because by law in Australia, they can't just put your rent up. They have to give you two months warning. So maybe that's happened. And so you're like, okay, well, I'm just not paying that. So I'm going, I've got a good record. Uh, pay my rent on time, I'm an excellent tenant, I've got to look out there and see what is there out there for me that's cheaper and would suit me better. And just remember that when things like this happen, it's about moving you on, moving you to the right place where you need to be, taking you off this path onto another. So it may start off being a little bit chaotic, but it's going to be okay in the end. In your health, we've got Knight of Swords, so don't be obsessing this month or getting an idea in your head, Sagittarius, that makes you fret and worry needlessly. You might be making something up bigger in your head than it actually is. The other thing is to slow down this month. There might be accidents, there might be falling over, there might be, um, you're just told to slow down this month. And lastly, if you are feeling doubled over and it feels more like the stomach to me, but it could be the lower back, if you're feeling that this month, I feel like it's more of an intolerance than it is an illness this month. When it comes to your love, we do have the Two of Cups. So this is uh, me and my partner, we're agreeing to um, you know, become official, to get engaged, to have a baby, to buy a house together, to get married. If this is about someone new that you've just met or you're gonna meet through the month of June, then this person is uh, first and foremost a Leo, but Sagittarius Leo or Aries. And this is finding someone who is as emotionally stable as you are, who's emotionally open and ready for a relationship as you are. And this person is also going to help heal you from past uh, romantic issues um, that have given you insecurities and maybe some uh, habits, fears or phobias that go with that. So your Doring Virtues messages from the angel Sagittarius is... For some of you, liver and kidneys. Don't know why that's said, but that's what's been said. Also, don't let any of your insecurities start an argument that you can't actually finish. 
That's the problem here. If your ego gets involved, you might say something because you're insecure. So immediately punch back. All that hurt, punch back. Um, don't let anyone poke the bear this month. Just ignore it. Um, okay, so we're looking at uh, auditing, we're looking at research, we're looking at getting the finer details, we're looking to gather the information that we need for us to be able to move forward. You cannot move forward without that. Archangel Uriel is helping you learn to get past um, fears, phobias, habits, um, old insecurities, um, all those sorts of things. And something this month, um, Sagittarius, is going to make you feel stronger and going to make you feel like yes I've got I'm on the right track I know what I'm doing we also have Sonia which is um, a past loved one mostly female or a feminine person this person saying I'm here I'm congratulating you I'm helping you go through these emotional difficulties I'm sending someone your way to help you with that and I love you uh, and then we've got Indriel saying you're a light worker God needs you to shine something you say this month is going to help somebody else so now we're going to go on to Capricorn. Capricorn, it's all about your work and your health this month. Now, some of you, of course, are looking after other people. And so this is a month where it's going to be actually really busy. Um, you might have to bring somebody else in uh, extra. You might have to pay for a trader to come in. There's someone new that has to come into the help, uh, house to help with that. Now, uh, as far as your health's done, you're going to have to start a new routine this month uh, because your health has just come to a point where you can't ignore it anymore. And you might hear the same old, same old, you know, this person told me that and this person told me that, but oh, I've just, you know, whatever. This month you can't ignore it. It's right in your face and, you know, you might just be told it's this or it's that. I mean, it's really up to you. What are you going to do about it? Uh, lastly, when it comes to your job, if you're looking for a job, you're going to find a job, probably not exactly the amount of money that you wanted, but if you hold in there for six months, you're actually going to have more than what you first wanted when you applied. Um, this month, you're going to have a practical, tangible um offers given to you for whatever money it is that you need. So if you're short this month for your rent, you can find a, you know, an in-law or friend or family that will be able to you know, just tide you over. If you're looking for a loan, you're going to get one. If you're looking for a job, you're going to get one. This is also a good time to be raking in some money that you've put in an investment. So maybe you put a you know, bit of money in last year um, and this, this month for whatever reason, maybe it's the US dollar or maybe there's something that's changed in the world uh, which has you know, really changed things up, getting a good dividend. With our home, our Roots Heritage Landlord Flatmates, we've got the hanged man. We just have to wait it out. Maybe you have a um, flatmate who is deciding, do I or do I not stay or move or, you know, whatever. Or maybe it's a surprise. Oh, I'm moving in with my, um, my partner, so now you're left with an extra person's rent. Just hold on. It will be okay. You just have to wait for um, the right time, the right moment. When it comes to your family, you're all waiting for one person. You're waiting for them to decide. You're waiting for them to come home. Everyone's walking on eggshells around this person, and it's more of a time game. Uh, we just have to wait. The more you stress about it, the worse it's going to get to you, and then you won't even be able to think straight. When it comes to your health, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. This is good health. Um, this is about you being able to get up and out of your home and into the community. Um, you'll find that you're healthier and that you're feeling better mind-wise and physicality if you can get out and be part of the community, get out and celebrate, get out uh, with your friends, families, doing what you need to do, but this is around other people. Maybe you're going to join a walking group or a Pilates group, something like that. But being around public, being up and out is, is the way for you to go this month. Um, Capricorn. With our love, we've got the King of Swords. So some of you are going to get back together with your ex this month. Um, don't know if it's going to last forever or not, but this month... It looks like um, getting back together. Um, those of you that are um, have been in a really long-term relationship, and I'm talking five years plus, this month something might come up with this is the last straw. Like you've given this person time enough to hang themselves. You've given this person plenty of patience. You've forgiven. You've gone past the boundary that you set. And this month you're like, you know what? No. No, not doing it. And you'll find that mentally straight away after the panic, Mentally, straight away, you're going to feel ease. You're going to feel calm. You're going to feel like a weight has been lifted. Um, 
this is an air sign, Gemini, um, Aquarius, and Libra. Um, if you haven't heard from someone for a while, and this is some, someone that you've been talking to for, for a while, um, they're going to contact you this week. Again, we've got another yes card. So yes, everything's going to be fine this month. Archangel Michael, he's the head of the deck. He's here for anything that's difficult, that's life-changing, that um, you've really pinned your hopes on. He's here to help you get through that. And that's the strength and the courage that you need behind you. A loved one who has passed Capricorn is letting you know that you can be empathetic for yourself and for other people, but you really do need to focus on yourself. Where has this lesson been that you have spent your entire life putting other people first? This month, for you to be able to heal, for you to be able to make those grounds, for you to be able to move forward, Yes, you can be empathetic, but you also have to do you first. So like on a plane, you've got to put your mask on before you can put somebody else's on. And this whole idea of someone making you feel guilty, uh, walking on eggshells, um, blood is sicker than water, whatever the, the saying may be this month that comes out of someone else's mouth. No, it's all about you and being empathetic, but you have to put yourself first. Now we're going to go on to Aquarius. This is about your children this month for you that have children. And it's about there might be an end of a sequence. So maybe one will move out. Maybe they're going to uni. Um, maybe they've graduated uni. Uh, maybe they're winning in some kind of sport or hobby. Um, you might even find out for some of you. Because it doesn't have to just be your children. So when I say children, this can be the younger children in your life. So if you're a very active aunt or uncle, this is about the children there. You know, grandparents, whatever. But um, so this month you might find that they're... Uh, you know, they might be pregnant, you know, some, some idea of children coming in uh, here as well. You might also find that as you are, for some of you, as your children have reached a certain age, that one of them has just changed. Like, where has my perfect little girl gone? Or where's my happy, charming son gone? Because there's something this month that is making that change there. You also might find that there's an expense an unexpected expense that comes in <clears throat> through a sibling or a child this month as well. Um, okay, so at our work, you might find that you're being left out of the group. <clears throat> you might find that you're not getting any work this month. You might find that you are feeling insecure this month, uh, Aquarius, because there hasn't been enough money um, coming in or that you're worried about bills this month or you're um, really worried about your health and how long can you, um, you know, maybe you're working from home as well. Or, you know, some people have had poor health for a long time and they're stressing about money and realize they need to get back to work but physically are unable. This is also about, for some of you, you're going to have to um, stop what it is that you have been doing. If this is passive income or you've been working and, and sticking it out, this month you might find that you, it's just easier for you to take what's left and close and just um, stop that. Now, if you're looking for contracts, uh, Aquarius, anything to do with um, the younger generation, you might find that what you thought was a given uh, actually disappears this month. When it comes to your um, family home, roots, heritage, landlords and flatmates, we do have the uh, Queen of Cups. Whoever you're living with um, this month is going to be needing a lot of uh, yourself or them, uh, a lot of emotional support this month, um, Aquarius. They might not, they might be um, grieving, uh, whether it be a loss of a person or a breakup of a relationship or, you know, they've lost their job. For whatever reason, this person's really going to be emotional and you need to be there for them or they are there for you. For some, this is about a loved one, um, specifically, uh, Okay, let's say a parent that's lost a child or sibling that's lost um, a sibling. This month, for whatever reason, is going to be difficult, closer to the end of the month than the beginning. And lastly, um, this is about feeling strong to live on your own. So maybe this is the first time you've lived on your own, or maybe you've 
the, the flatmate's not here, so it's just you, and you're really enjoying your own space at the moment. So you might be doing some redecorating, painting your room, put, you know, buying new furniture, doing something like that, but it's feeling good and fresh for you. In your health, we've got the justice card. We do need to adjust our levels. We do need to get blood tests. We do need to get a physical done. Something's not right, and it's one thing is, is putting pressure on the other, and that is causing a number to rise. Now, we're not going to be able to figure that out unless we're getting things checked. Um, so once that's balanced, um, then the other thing will, will come back down, so those numbers will come back down, however that is for you. For some of you, there is a small procedure or needle that needs to be involved, Aquarius, um, that will be able to balance. So it could be creatine levels, it could be migraines, um, and so there's an injection there. It could be your heart. Uh, it could be anything where they, you need to have a procedure to bring the levels back down. Um, you will get some answers this month from your specialist, uh, saving grace. So, um, you know, maybe you haven't heard any information, things have been going the way that they have, you think you're never going to find an answer. And then someone rings you and says, oh, I forgot to give you your results, and these are your results. And you're like, finally, an answer of some sort. Nobody likes bad news, but you'd rather get an answer then continue going along with no idea what's wrong. You'd rather have that answer because at least you know, you can validate how you are um, and you're able to have a plan in place to be able to move forward. But you can't if there's no answers. When it comes to your love, we have the judgment card. Now the judgment card is saying there's a happy reunion for any couples that live apart so you know maybe there's a visa issue or maybe there's a work issue fly in fly out or you know you've been covering um going past each other in the middle of the night because one works days one works nights but there is a jubilant reconciliation and coming home um that's first and foremost what i hear um meeting someone at a celebration aquarius that uh, very much might be your um knight in shining armor those of you that are single you might find that there's validation uh, widely spread. So on, on social media, um, it's widely spread that you've been validated that the arsehole you went out with and you've dropped and no one understood or hardly anyone was on your side this month, Aquarius, everyone will find out that this person's an arsehole. Okay, so Doreen get you messages from the angels. Did I tell you that your children might have a sudden expense this month? Just reminding you in case. Okay, so we've got our psychic emotions telling us which way to go and which point. And also when it comes to your health, um, you know, psychically you, you might think, oh, I haven't had any results or I don't know what's wrong or I really feel I should try that out because I think that's going to give me uh, good results. So whichever way it is, it's psychically giving you this intuition, go with it. We've got the victory card. So, it, you know, things will work out. Victory card is really good because it's more of a organizational kind of thing. So once you've got this, you then you can get supplementary income from that. Teresa, again, we're feeling very tired. We're feeling soul tired. We're feeling exhausted. And this might not just be because of you. This might be because you're having to stay strong for other people. And Melina, Melina says that this is about, okay, so we'll start off with health. We're going to need to have some tests done because there's more than one thing. And once we get those, it will just fall into place. Now, when it comes to our family, then it's about, um, you know, everybody wanting a piece of you. And you, you've just got to cut it down to what's most important and the rest can just wait for later. When it comes to your job, it's about talking to each individual that's part of the team and just reminding each other who does what and, and where we do it because there seems to be miscommunication there. Okay, we've got Pisces. Pisces, it's going to be a lot about your home this month, the people that are in it, maybe people that have passed, maybe people on the family tree. Um, it's about your home this month. Now, you also might find that you are an entrepreneur and you're working from home um, or that whatever reason you have to work um, at home this month. It's a good time for you to be social, to plan um, a gathering at home because this is going to bring in not just new energy but make some few, few friends as well. At work, it looks like you feel like you've made a mistake and you're worried about your job. You also, for others, might be feeling like you're left out, that other people at work don't like you and you're feeling very lonely. But other people, I absolutely hate my job. It's a new job. I thought it was going to be exciting. I thought it was going to be great. But now that I'm here, 
I can't stand this place. These people are lazy. Um, it's not an organization that I thought was going to help people. These people are so slow. No one's going to get any help. So that's that feeling of, of wanting to help and wanting to be in a good position. But when you actually get there, you find out that no one actually has any interest in helping anyone. They're just there for their wages and everything's slow and frustrating. So you need to leave for a small select few of you. For others, this month you might find that you are doing less hours because you've been sick or because of family matters or um, you know any, maybe you've got higher bills at home. Financially this um, month you're feeling a little bit tight. When it comes to your home, you might find that you have a couple of one night stands with someone or you know this is someone new that you've met and they come for the week and they end up staying for the month. Um, secondly, uh, this is about renovating your house, um, buying a new house, um, doing something creative um, in your house um, that brings you great joy. You love it. it. Could be your garden, whatever. When it comes to your uh, health, we have been working on it. We have been doing well, and you're starting to see results. And it looks like there's only two more. Um, so if this is some sort of treatment, we're halfway through this one. There's only one left after that. When it comes to your um, health, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about doing something for a while and we're close to the end of the cycle and we can see the great results and we can't wait for the last of this to go. I do want to say liver and kidneys for some of you, I don't know why. And lastly, I want to talk about thrombosis, blood clots, um, blood circulation, anything like that that you can alternative or medically, whatever it is, get that going. When it comes to your love, you've got the world card. I've got this for another sign as well. Some of you are coming to the natural conclusion of your relationship and going on to the next level. For other people, we've come to a natural conclusion and we're going to break up. If we're meeting someone on our travels, and this person is someone that's going to be around for a very long time. You may not say yes straight away. This person may not be everything you ever hoped on, but this is someone that will grow on you, and this person is going to be with you. This is the person for you, Pisces. Lastly, you might have not bothered dating for a while, and you meet someone, and lo and behold, you're in a relationship. Lots of cards. So, don't feel too melancholy this month. Um, it might be back and forth, you know, a couple of days here, a couple of days there. You might be feeling very alone. You might be feeling a little bit um, down in the dumps, feeling like nobody loves me. Smoothie roads are here for um, the family. Uh, there might be a pregnancy announced uh, between now and August. Zaina says your family is safe. So it's all about your family, about being safe. All month, it's about family. Miraculous solutions will appear when you need it. Miraculous uh, solutions will appear at the last minute. You can't force it to happen. And you've just got to have some faith in yourself. So, be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.